Today I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of the Apple Watch Ultra 2. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as an Apple Watch Ultra 2 expert. Let's get started. The packaging for the Apple Watch is very minimalistic. It's completely blank. It's got this Apple Watch on the front here. It's white around the side. And this model is a carbon neutral model. So it has the logo for carbon neutral, which you can configure in the watch checkout page. You can select a band that matches their environmental standards and qualifies for a carbon neutral packaging product. So we got the Apple Watch here. Let's go ahead and open it right up and dive right in and set up our Apple Watch Ultra for the first time. They've got these pull tabs right here, which open the box. And all you do is just open it up just like that. And you get this lovely, lovely image here. It looks like there's at the top an Apple Watch book, booklet that matches this image here. We can take a look at the booklet really quick and filter through it. We've got some options of the Apple Watch, got the different uh, you know loops that you can attach to the Apple Watch. It goes over in great detail here, all the buttons on the Apple Watch and all the features. Some more information about the Compass app and the waypoints and backtrack and how to use that. So it goes over, it's very visual here as we've got a lot of detail of how to use the depth app, the action button, and more in this lovely booklet here. And of course, some more information regarding Apple Watch. So nice little booklet here for the Apple Watch Ultra. We can go ahead and open it up and we've got the Apple Watch Ultra 2 itself. And then we've got the Apple Watch Band. So let's start off with opening up the Apple Watch Ultra. I'll put the package to the side over there. I'll put the band right up here. And on the back, we've got the pull tabs for this lovely device. We'll just rip it off just like that. And that'll allow us to open up the box. And then we just sit the box down and open it up just like that. So we can turn it around here. Designed by Apple in California. It's got the coordinates for it right here. And then you've got your Apple Watch Ultra right here. And we can pull it out with the pull tab. It's got this plastic film around it. We can go ahead and pull that off. And we've got the Apple Watch Ultra in front of our eyes right now. With the screen and all the various different buttons and features. We can go ahead and put this to the side here. I'll put the packaging around there. And then you've got a pull tab. You can pull this up and you've got your charger right here. So we can go ahead and pull our charger out just like that. And then you can pull it out there. So now we can take a look at our charger. We've got a USB-C end on the back. We can plug that up into our computer or we can plug it up into a power brick. And then the charging puck right here, you just smack this onto the bottom of the Apple Watch Ultra and it charges it just like that. So very cool setup that we've got here. Let's go ahead and put these things, these things to the side. And then I'll go ahead and open the band and we'll get this Apple Watch Ultra set up. So very neat packaging here. It's very visual, very nice. And we've got the band right here. So we've got one pull tab for the band. We just pull this. It's got the arrow, the green arrow, the white arrow on the green circle there. We pull it and it folds down and lets us slide out the band just like this. So we've got this lovely packaging. We can pull out the band. And now we've got access to the band. There's some instructions here on the packaging of how to insert the band, but I'll show you that. So I'll go ahead and put this packaging to the side. And right here on the Apple Watch, you'll notice that there are some openings at the very end where you can attach your band. You just slide your band in that way. And you'll want to take a look at your band and make sure that you have it the right side up. Um, and you'll be able to take a look at which side goes up. Um, so we'll want this bottom strap right here to be able to be on the bottom and to pull off. So it will fold something along the lines of like this. So we'll find the top of our Apple Watch, which is right over here where the digital crown is. And all you have to do is just slide in the band from the side here and it magnetically attaches. It's very simple. You just slide it in easily and it magnetically attaches. If you want to detach it and remove the band, all you have to do is just press and hold this button right on that side. There's one for this side too. You just press this button right here, you hold it down, and then you slide the band out just like this. 
So easy to put the band on and to remove it. All you have to do is just slide it in the little crevice there on the side and it magnetically attaches and allows you to connect the band. So we'll go ahead and reinsert this band just by sliding it in like that. And then we'll go ahead and do that on the other side. Just slide in the band and it magnetically attaches on the end there. And now we've successfully attached our band to the Apple Watch Ultra. Very cool. We can pull it up like that and then you can slide it on our wrist and it, you know, just the Velcro attaches just like that. So very nice combination here. And now to get started with our Apple Watch Ultra, we can go ahead and press the side button and hold it to turn it on. So we'll go ahead and hold down the power button here and an Apple logo will appear and it will start the boot up process for us setting up this on our device. You will need an iPhone to set up any Apple Watch, so go ahead and grab your iPhone and bring it into play. Um, you're you're going to need access to the Apple Watch app on the iPhone in order to set up your uh, Apple Watch. So the Apple Watch app looks like this. It has a watch on it and a black background. You can press the search button and type in watch and find it and open it up just like that. And it says, good afternoon, and you can go ahead and start pairing a brand new Apple Watch. You can also just bring the Apple Watch close together to an iPhone, just like this. And um, if there's a quick start guide, sometimes it pops open um, just at the bottom right here where you can just start pairing the watch. But in this case, if it does not pop open with an Apple Watch guide, you can open up the watch app and you can hit start pairing. And then it's going to ask, do you want to set this up for yourself or a family member? If you're doing a family member, then of course you want to select a family member, but we're doing it for myself in this case. So for this demo purposes, we'll do set up for myself. And then all you have to do is just hold the camera up to the Apple Watch and it will magically connect. So we hold the camera up, it starts to pair, it reads the code, and then they start working in, in tandem with each other just like this. And you see that beautiful animation. So it's really nice. Your Apple Watch is paired. So you can restore from a backup or you can set up as a new watch. If you previously used an Apple Watch, you may have a backup on file. If not, you can just press the set up as a new Apple Watch button. So we'll do that. And then it's going to ask you your wrist preference. Do you want to set up on your left wrist or your right wrist? I'm going to say left wrist and we'll go ahead and hit continue and go from there. Next up, it's going to ask us, let's see, it's going to save that preference profile, the wrist on our left and next up it's going to connect to the Apple Watch. So it says this may take a moment so we'll let it go ahead and connect and um, you know do its thing and then we'll be right back. After it's connected you'll get a terms and conditions screen so you can agree or disagree to those and you'll need to agree in order to move forward. So we'll go ahead and press the agree button and next up is the Apple Watch passcode. You can create a passcode on your Apple Watch it's traditionally four digits but if you press the add long passcode you can add more than four digits or you can press don't add a passcode at all but I highly recommend I mean, having a passcode because all of your sensitive information, like your messages, your email, your contacts, your Apple Pay information, all of that is typically on your Apple Watch. And if you don't have a passcode, anyone that you know opens your Apple Watch or if you lose it, they can get access to all that information if there's no passcode on the Apple Watch. So I highly recommend pressing the create a passcode button and then you can go ahead and pick up your Apple Watch and type in that passcode. I'll go ahead and do that for me off camera. And then it's gonna ask you to re-enter that passcode. So you will need to create that passcode twice. So I'll go ahead and enter it one more time. And just like that, I have successfully entered and created the passcode on my Apple Watch. Next up is the bold text and size. So we can come here, we can adjust the size of the text on our screen. And one neat feature of this is that it does it in real time. So if I increase the size on the watch or on the phone, it increases it on the watch and you can see what that looks like in real time as I move the size up and down. So if you want bold text on, you can turn it on You can see what that looks like. You can turn it off or you can decrease the size, increase it, whatever your preference is. You can do that on the Apple Watch right here and you just set your setting and hit the continue button or you can set up later in the Apple Watch app. But I'll go ahead and keep it uh, right here as our default and then we'll hit continue. Next up is shared settings. So things like location services, find my iPhone, Siri, and analytics will be shared across your iPhone and Apple Watch. So those settings that you have on your iPhone will be mirrored on your Apple Watch in the case that, you know, a watch face needs to use your location to determine the weather or something, it can do that. So it's just letting you know that you have shared settings across your iPhone and your Apple Watch. And you can hit the OK button for that. 
Next up is personalized fitness and health. You can go ahead and enter your personal information here on these sections, your date of birth, your sex, your height, your weight, and it will customize your health and, and fitness according to the details you can put here. You can also check if you're in a wheelchair and then I'll modify the fitness app to help out with your fitness goals. So you can go ahead and press continue and set up all those options. Next up is getting notifications about your health. So um, things like if you're in a loud environment, for example, the noise app will let you know, hey, you're in a loud environment. This may cause damage to your hearing. So you can turn that off or on with the green dot there. You can circle that off or circle it on and then hit continue. Next up is a safety. So you've got emergency SOS. You can hold the side button to call emergency services and notify emergency contacts. You've got fall detection during workouts. In the case that you fall during a workout, it can detect it and immediately call for help if needed. Crash detection is on this Apple Watch. So if you get in a serious car crash, it can automatically call emergency services for you, which is really neat. And on the Apple Watch Ultra, you have the siren. So in case you need to attract emergency attention or need help, you can play a loud sound and get other people's attention really fast. So there are plenty of safety features baked right into this Apple Watch Ultra and very helpful for you to know how to activate. So we'll go ahead and hit continue and we'll move on to the next screen here. So we'll hit continuous processing. You can see in the top that it's circling around there and saving some data. So as it processes this, it'll move on to the next stage. Next up is Apple Pay. One of my favorite features of Apple Watch. If you're, you know, at a checkout stand and they support Apple Pay, you can easily just lift your, your wrist, double tap on the side button and then select a credit card and authenticate the Apple Pay payment. And it's very easy. You can go ahead and set this up on your screen. It does require financial information. So we're going to set this up later and not on camera, but I highly recommend setting it up. It's a great feature to use on your Apple Watch. So I'll go ahead and hit set up later, but you can go ahead and set it up now. Next up is the action button. The action button is exclusive to the Apple Watch Ultra and it's right here on the side, this yellow button or orange, orange button right here. So you can choose what you'd like the action button to do. It can start a workout. It can start a stopwatch. It can create a waypoint. It can start a backtrack. It can start a dive or it can turn the flashlight on or off. So this button is highly customizable and you've got multiple options right here that you can select. Me personally, I'm a big fan of working out on my Apple Watch, using the Apple Watch every morning. So I have it start a workout every time I press my action button and it makes it really easy to you know, just work out rather than have to configure a workout because it's automatic and it, it happens quick. You don't have to set up anything, you just press the button and it immediately does what you have programmed it to do. So it's one of the best features of the Apple Watch Ultra and you can come in here and modify it and create you know, what option you want that best suits your needs. So I wanna keep it on the workout section here here and hit continue. Next up is depth. Depth can automatically open up, open underwater and measure the temperature, time, and depth. So if you go swimming or if you go diving, you can um, have this open up automatically and it will display on your watch all of those helpful metrics for you to know. So we, we can say open depth when it's submerged and it will do that. And now it lets us know diving safety, underwater activities are risky and to follow these recommendations. So reduce the risk of serious or fatal injury when diving, always follow safety protocols and before diving, read the instructions and warnings in the Apple Watch user guide. You can hit the learn more option here and read all of those details right here. That tells you about the depth app overview and what you need to know when you're using the Apple Watch and diving. So you can hit the continue button and we can move on. And now it's welcome. It welcomes us. It buzzes over here. It's loading. Um, you can see we've got the hello screen now. So we'll go over to the Apple Watch Ultra in a second, but we're going to finish off on the iPhone. Welcome to Apple Watch. We've got my watch. You can adjust the settings, organize apps and customize your watch faces. You got the face gallery. You've got Apple Watch apps and you can hit OK and you're presented with your Apple Watch. So here we've got it. Apple, Justin's Apple Watch right here on the screen here. If you love to stay up to date with your latest iPhone, you're going to love to stay up to date with the latest three in one L gear charger that charges your iPhone, your Apple Watch in your AirPods all at the same time, just like this. Perfect for standby mode. If you set this on a nightstand, you can flip through all the different widgets on your iPhone standby mode, and it is beautiful. You can wirelessly charge your iPhone, your MagSafe compatible device here, your Apple Watch, and your AirPods, and you can get your very own three-in-one wireless charger, get 15% off using the code AppFine. Click the link in the description to get your very own wireless three-in-one L-Gear charger. 
Let's slide over to the Apple Watch. I want to put the phone over to the corner, and now we've got the Apple Watch. It asks for the passcode. I'm going to type in my passcode off camera, and it proceeds with hello. So it's a nice little message here. We can press the start button to get started using our Apple Watch. First up is to learn how to navigate Apple Watch. You can press the digital crown to see all of your apps. The digital crown is this button right here. It rotates, you can press it, and then all your apps open up just like that. You can press the digital crown to return to your watch face. So you press it one time and it goes back to your Apple watch face just like this. You can press the side button, which is this button right here. You can press that and it opens up Control Center. And we'll dive into this in a bit. You've got all your options in Control Center. You can press the side button one more time to close the Control Center, just like that. So it makes it really easy to navigate. You can turn the digital crown to access widgets. So I'm gonna type in my passcode off camera and I'm gonna turn the digital crown to access all the different widgets here. So very cool that we can do that. And then it welcomes us to our Apple Watch. So here we've got it. And next up, it wants to know if the world clock can use your location. I'm gonna do this off camera and say allow while using an app. So it can use the location to know where we are. And now I'm back on our watch face. So this is really neat because it's the first time we've seen our Apple Watch and we can start using it right away. So this is what it looks like on your wrist. You've got the Apple Watch Ultra and this brand new face right here where you can check out various different complications and a brand new way to tell time on the Apple Watch Ultra. So of course it's got the digital time right here. We can tap on the compass and see more information about that. And all you have to do to modify any of these complications is to hold down on the Apple Watch and you hit the edit button right here and we can scroll over to the style, the night mode, the color, and complications. Complications are all the widgets right here. So you can see there's a fitness complication. We can tap on that and change it to whatever we want. We can move it to astronomy if we want. You can say earth and now there's an earth widget right there instead of a fitness widget. So you can come in here and make as many modifications as you want on your Apple Watch. We can take a look at the color. We can use the digital crown to scroll down and select a color here. So we've got a blue color, a yellow color, a purple color. Series activated. We can scroll down some more. Let's select this indigo color that we have here. And then we can go ahead and tap on it and scroll over to night mode. We can see right now that's on auto. But if we want to, we can make any adjustments using the digital crown. We can turn that on permanently. And then we can scroll over to the style and there's different styles of the, the text here for the watch face. We can have some seconds on it. I love seeing the seconds. You can have a larger text of the font. Let's go with the seconds. Let's see what else we have here. We use the digital crown, a larger seconds. That's cool. We can tap on that and see what that looks like on our watch face. So you can make as many modifications as you want on your Apple Watch Ultra. Really need to come in here and play around with this. And of course, all you have to do is just hold down on the Apple Watch, hit the edit button, and you can make as many modifications as you want. And you can even add additional watch faces. All you have to do is just swipe over to the right here and you press the plus button and they've got dozens of faces right here on the Apple Watch that you can add. So we can scroll up to the top, we can select some new faces and see what's new and we can scroll down and add the solar analog face and just press the add button. We can make any modifications we want to the light, the color, we can change the color, we can make it guava and then just press the digital crown to save all of your settings and then tap on it. And now we've got a brand new face on our Apple Watch, just like that, really cool. You can hold down and swipe between those faces if you wanna go back to a different face or you can hold down and go back to the one we just created. So various different options right here on your Apple Watch Ultra. And one of the cool parts about this is you can do this on on your iPhone and the watch app. If you find the watch app again, it's right here. It looks with the black background with the watch on it. You tap on it and you can tap on the faces and you can make any modifications that you want to just like you do on the watch itself. This is a bigger screen and you can see all the options and it makes it a little bit easier to modify. So we can come in here and select any different option that we want. So we can change the color to blue, we can come over here and see all the different bezel options. We can say that we want to see things like the seconds instead of elevation. And then we can come over here to the style. We can see all the different styles. We can select the last style there. And then we can come over here and say night modes on auto. We can change any of the complications, which are all the widgets here. So we can tap on a widget and change any of those. 
um, just like that. So it makes it really easy to come in here and modify everything that we want to on our Apple Watch. And then we can just say set as current watch face and then it will magically set this as a current watch face. And now when we look at it, we see all those changes happen and it's easy to come in here and play with. So there are no complications when we use the bigger watch face right here, this bigger style, but if we swap it back open to a smaller style, we can scroll down to all the complications and then top left, change the you know complications on all the widgets right here to voice memos or additional things right here. So that's why the complications were blank because we picked a style that took up all the screen and uh, it left no room for complications. So depending on which style you pick, you may get more complications or you may get less of them. So it's a really cool way to come in here and interact with the Apple Watch because you can do this whether you're holding down on the Apple Watch itself and scrolling around to the watch faces or whether you're using the Apple Watch app where you can come in here and modify any of the watch faces just like this. It's the first thing you see when you open the Apple Watch and it makes it really easy to come in here and make modifications. You can change the style of an Apple Watch face you can change the light color, we go to dark, and then all of your complications are right here on your Apple Watch app. So really cool that you can do this. I highly recommend as soon as you get your watch that you personalize it, add your own watch face, make some complication adjustments to show your favorite apps, and then make any style or color adjustments that you want on your Apple Watch to make it yours. Check out today's sponsor, Surfshark. You can use the link in the description and get Surfshark, a virtual private network, 24 months for just $2.49. It's a great way to protect your privacy and it has a great application that you can install and get started today with a virtual private network on your devices. Use the link in the description and you get 24 months for just $2.49. Next up, let's take a look at the action button settings inside of that watch app. If we tap on action button right here, you can see that you can set an action at the very top. You can set a stopwatch, a workout, a waypoint, a backtrack, a dive, a flashlight, or a shortcut, or you can have it do absolutely nothing. And you can see whichever one is checked is the current setting for the action button. Let's demo the flashlight. If we have it set as a flashlight, then we can go ahead and look at our Apple Watch. And if I hit the action button, which is right here on the side, this orange button right here, I press that and it turns on the flashlight, just like that. And I can press the action button one more time to turn off the flashlight. Let's take a look at what else we can have the action button do. We can tap on the settings there and we can say start a workout. And just like this, it'll open the workout app. So now when I press the action button, the workout app opens up and we can mark our segment, we can pause, and we can swipe to get all the settings there. I'll go ahead and end that workout. So really cool that we can come over here. We can even adjust those settings here in the workout app. We can see what the first press does. Right now it's set to start a workout. We can say open the workout. We can say what type of workout to start. An outdoor walk, a run, a cycle, indoor walk, run, cycle, elliptical, rower, stair stepper. They've got a dozen, over a dozen different options right here that can automatically be started with one press of an action button. And all you have to do is just tap on which one you want to start, just like that. So really cool that you can come in here and modify those settings with the workout section and the action button. We can see what else we have right here. You can have it run a shortcut. So shortcuts are on the Apple Watch and also on your iPhone. You can just select whichever shortcut you want. And now when you press the action button, a shortcut opens up and it immediately starts typing in. So we can activate a Siri shortcut just like that. So really cool that you can do this right from your wrist and all you have to do is just go into your Apple Watch settings, tap on the action button and pick whatever shortcut, whatever action you want it to do when you press the orange action button on your Apple Watch, it will do. So my favorite is the workout, but you, your favorite could be something else. You can select whatever you like best in the action button settings and make that your action button trigger. So anytime you press it, it'll automatically do that action. So. One of the coolest features of the Apple Watch Ultra, you've got to check out the action button. Let's take a look at how we would download an application onto the Apple Watch. All you have to do is just press the digital crown and it'll open up all of your apps. You can scroll down by just dragging the screen. You can also use the digital crown on the side to scroll up and down until you find the App Store icon, which is this blue icon with the circle and the App Store logo on it. You tap on that and it opens up the Watch App Store. 
and they've got hundreds of apps right here. It welcomes you to the Watch App Store. You can scroll down here, you can hit continue, and then right here you can see some updated apps for Watch OS. We can tap on it and we can go ahead and download our first app. We just press the Get button. I'm gonna do that one more time so you can see it. There's a Flyby Live Tracker app. You can tap on it, you can see more information, and you download apps by pressing the blue Get button. We can scroll down, we can see the rating, we can see some of the screenshots of this app and what it looks like on our phone. We can hit the Done to scroll down and read more information about it. We can see that it won a design award. We can see all the tons of information that they have here just by scrolling down what's new, how what's it compatible with, all the ratings, reviews, version history, information. You've got all of this information right here on your wrist and you don't have to use your phone in order to access the app store. You can just press the blue get button to download an app. It starts the process and then you double click the side button. So a side button, the same one you access control center with, you double tap it to install and it processes this installation and it allows it to install on your Apple Watch. So you will need to sign in with your Apple ID. In this case, it may ask you to authorize this transition so you can tap on it and enter your passcode. You may be wondering, how am I going to type in my passcode on this screen? Don't worry, whenever a keyboard pops open on the Apple Watch, it sends your iPhone a notification where it says Apple Watch Keyboard Input. And you can come over here and open that notification and allows you to use your iPhone keyboard and type in on your Apple Watch. So whatever I type in on the iPhone appears on the Apple Watch, just like that. So anytime a keyboard appears on the Apple Watch, it will send your iPhone a notification and you can open up a keyboard on your iPhone and easily type in any passcodes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. I'll go ahead and type in my passcode and I'll press enter here and it will start downloading the Apple Watch Flighty app that I got straight from my, my app store on the wrist here. So sometimes you do have to verify your passcode and you know you can do it on the watch or you can do it on the iPhone. It's much easier on the iPhone, but you can see that the passcode has been successful and it's gone ahead and started to download the Flighty application, which I can tap on it and I can see the progress bar right here as it circles complete as the circle completes here I'll be able to open it so it does take some time to install this application on the Apple Watch but after it's installed I'll be able to open it up and I will have successfully installed my first application on this Apple Watch using the App Store designed specifically for the watch so very cool to set up here you can see that go as it progresses here it's always it's almost halfway full and ready to go we can scroll down and see what other features we have that are gonna be on this flight tracker here. So yeah, we can scroll down there and we can see it also downloads live widgets, activity widgets to our iPhone. So we'll be able to see those in tandem on our watch. That'll be really helpful to see here. We can just press the done button at the top to check our progress and the app has officially downloaded onto our our Apple Watch. So we hit open and it opens it up for the very first time. So this is really neat. We can come in here, and modify any of the settings that we want. And anytime we use this watch, it wants us to open our, our flighty on our phone to sync all of our information and all of our data will then appear on the Apple Watch. So that's how we download an app using the Watch App Store. And to recap there, we just press the digital crown, we scroll down and we head over to the blue button with the A, the App Store logo on it, and we can find any app in it that we want. And then we can uh, press the blue Get button and it allows us to download those applications. So you just press this blue Get button just like that and double click to install and it allows you to successfully install an application on your Apple Watch. So you can download as many apps as you want and it's a very fun way to interact and get you know all the latest features on your Apple Watch by using apps that are in the Watch App Store. To see the best AI tools and apps, go to appfind.ai for a full list of hundreds of tools. Also, subscribe to our weekly newsletter using the link in the description at appfind.ai slash newsletter to get a weekly email update of the best AI tools in your inbox. And make sure to sign up for other recommended newsletters as well. That way, you can always stay up to date with the latest AI tools in tech. Thanks for watching today's video on the Apple Watch Ultra. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button. Let us know what your favorite Apple Watch Ultra feature was in the comments below. And if you have not subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to figure out when we release our next technology video. We love producing these videos for you and we can't wait to see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching.